the Lord will have you enjoy the benefits that he wants you to enjoy. But the first step to accessing God's help is obedience. There is blessing in every obedience. When, the Bible says God will punish the enemy when your obedience is complete. Not half and half of obedience. The instructions of the Bible were meant to give us an edge, a winning edge, a fighting chance. That's what is intended to accomplish in our lives. And of course, I posted something some few days ago. Nothing works like work. That's the next thing. Work is an art of worship. When you walk in your place of work, is a worship unto the Lord. Because the Bible says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your heart. Do it heartily. Because there is no labor in the grave that all of us are headed to. But the grave is not the end. It's only a passage into a better life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, when you are made strong because you found help from God, what do you do with that? You must know that the more you learn, the more you see the need to learn more. Because we must keep growing. The trajectory should be upward, non-stop, upward, continually. Hallelujah. Let's read another portion of scripture. Okay? This one is a little long because I want to explain some things here. Okay? Second Kings chapter 6, verse 26 to 32. Second Kings chapter 6. Verse 26 to 32. Okay. And as the king of Israel was passing upon the wall, there cried a woman. Notice the woman didn't have name. He didn't have pedigree. We just know it's a woman. A woman in deep distress. Hallelujah. A woman that's in deep dis distress. That's the person that cried out to the king. And this night, we have come to cry out to the king of glory. Who knows how to help us? The Bible says he is able to help us completely. He is able to help us completely. So uh, we, we, we cry out to him. He says, he said, help my Lord, O king. And the king said, if the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Let me stop there for, for starters. If you are asking God to help you, if you are asking the king, earthly king to help you, an earthly man to help you, if God have, has not touched, touched on the man's help, it's not going to go far. It can collapse any minute. Because even the person you are asking for, for help also needs help. Let me read another version of that scripture here very quickly. Okay? Hmm. So if he says, if you are asking to help, uh, if you are asking for help, he said, huh, you that is asking for help, the person you are asking for help also needs help. <laughs> the person you are needing help from, he too also needs help from a higher power. Hallelujah. Okay. Such a person also needs help. Let me read the NLT because I think uh, that will put on some more light on it. Okay. NLT. Some people are here already. Mm. You say, one day as the king of Israel was walking along the wall of the city, a woman called to him, please help me, my lord the king. He answered, that is the king answered the woman. The woman has no name, it could as well be you. It could be anybody. Okay? But it's a true life experience. This is what he was saying. If the lord doesn't help you, what can I do? I have neither food from the threshing floor or wine from the press to give you. 
But then the king asked, what is it? Uh, what is the matter? She replied, this woman said to me, come, come on, let us, uh, let's eat your son today. Then we will eat my son tomorrow. So we cooked my son today and ate him. Then the text, the next day, I said to her, kill your son so we can eat him too. But he had hidden her son. When the king heard this, he tore his garment, uh, his clothes in despair. And as the king walked along the wall, the people could see that he was wearing burlap under his robe. The burlap there meaning sackcloth, the cloth used for grieving, not the one for royalty. He was wearing the, the garment of melancholy. He was depressed, depressed. That has it come to this that people are now practicing cannibalism while the king is in the land? The king himself was in distress. Now people are looking to him for, for help. So the king said, even me, I need help. That's what the king was saying. And so when they looked at him and he said, ah, this is so bad. And when they saw that he himself was wearing something connoting grief and desperation, okay, the, the, um, the people he was supposed to be ruling over, they were in a very deep distress. So he said, may the Lord strike me and even kill me if I don't separate Elisha's head from his shoulder this very day. The king vowed. Hmm? Elisha was sitting at his house. So how do, what is the correlation? The land was in distress. And the man is threatening, even though he was in distress, he was still threatening the servant of the king that uh, the God of heaven, the prophet. Hmm. There are good moves and there are wrong moves. This man was taking a very wrong move. There is an adage in an, an African adage that says, somebody has a headache, you go and cut off his head. Has the headache solved the problem of the head? Has the cutting off the man's head solved the, the problem of the headache he has? A man is in distress, is threatening to go and cut off the head of a prophet. How does it add up? So, one thing here, obedience, what has God said? If you want to access God's help, you need to be willing to listen. Don't be in a hurry. Listen, okay? It's when you listen that you find instruction, okay? That's when you find instruction. And uh, when you find instruction, you begin to carry out the instruction step by step. It will lead you into a place of, en of significant enlargement. And that is when results that the world is waiting to celebrate will show. And I decree concerning you that today going forward, you will see the hand of God bring you to a place of celebration. These people here, they were in trouble very bad distress across the land to the point that they were sharing this thing. The Bible recorded it so we can know that tough time they didn't start with 21st century. There has always been instances of tough time, desperate times there has been and there will still be before the return of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Look at the response of Elijah. Elijah was sitting in his house with the elders of Israel with them, when the king sent a messenger to summon him. Now, the distress was not caused by Elisha. It was caused by sin, by disobedience, by rebellion. Now he's threatening to kill the voice of God in the land. I wonder how that is the problem. Trading blame does not solve a problem. Looking to God for help and solution 
and accessing his help. That is the solution. Psalm 2 verse 8. Ask of me and I'll give unto you the hidden for your inheritance, the utmost part of the world for your possession. That is what God's word says. And as we pay attention, we will see more result than anything that any human being can give you. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you in this week, don't forget we are in the season of the Passion. The, this is the week of the Passion in which we commemorate the judgment, crucifixion, uh, judgment, sentencing, crucifixion, uh, no, judgment, sentencing, death, and crucifixion of the Messiah. And then at the end, the resurrection. So I see a window there. In those three days, we should be commemorated again this week, Friday, Saturday, ending up in the resurrection Sunday. Okay? God is showing a pattern and showing a, a, a rhythm of life. No matter what it is, that the enemy tried to tell you, this is it, it's all over. You're done. You can't go beyond this place. It's too far gone. It's too late. Don't believe the devil. Don't believe the devil. God has something beyond the grave. There is hope beyond the grave. So God is saying, if we want help that will last, you need to turn to me. These people turn to their king. Their king also needs help. But the king is venting in a negative way. And that's one thing I want to draw your attention to. Your help is in the name of the Lord, not in the arm of flesh. You will access God's help, but you need to know what God is saying now. So obedience to what, what his word says is the first step to recovery. Hallelujah. So he said, can you see? That was Elisha talking. He said, see? The son of this murderer is sending somebody to come and kill me. Lock the door against him. May your enemy be locked down indeed in the name of Jesus. I repeat, may your enemies be locked down in the name of Jesus. Those who seek your heart, may they experience a supernatural lockdown as God gives you opportunity to express yourself in gratitude to God. In Jesus' name. If you look at that verse 32b right there, okay, you will see what he says. He said, but before they arrived, Elisha said to the elders, a murderer has sent a man to cut off my head. Notice, Elisha was not where this man was talking, but he could hear supernaturally. He says, look at what this guy is saying. When he arrives, shut the door and keep him out. We will soon hear his master's steps following him. And it happened. You need help. Not from Sylvester, definitely. There is a God in heaven who answers prayers. There is a God in heaven who is the revealer of secrets. That same God of the heavens and the earth is the God I'm teaching and preaching to you about. Lean on him. Rely on him. You will be happy you did. In the name of Jesus. I know that God defends us. God defends us. And as he does, I always will encourage you to know that which he has started, he will complete. That is in his nature, to complete whatever he starts. Every enemy that is incensed against you, his or her life will be given as ransom for yours. If they choose not to repent, well, their mouth will declare their own judgment. Hallelujah. Before they said, Jesus, you go to the cross, there were processes of pain, but he endured that. He obeyed completely even when it wasn't convenient. But he considered that it's worth the fight to protect and secure you. 
have to establish his covenant. The covenant of redemption is real. It carries so many fringe benefits with it. And that's one part of life that makes me very encouraged. No matter what is going on in your life, God is still interested in taking you to where you need to be. And that's what I want to emphasize today before we start to pray. Okay? God's plan. He wants you. This, If you didn't hear anything this evening, please hear. God's intention is to refresh your life. He wants you to access his help. And when his help comes through for you, the things that look like an end, you will begin to see it as only a bend. And from that point, the narrative will change very quickly. And I know that as the narrative begins to change, you begin to see the things that God is doing and you will honor him even forevermore in Jesus' name. You can see, Elijah was saying, look, the son of a murderer is sending somebody to come and kill me. When he gets here, lock him out. Everybody and everything, every force that has been contracted because of you, we command them completely locked down, that they will stand down because the mighty God of Jacob is speaking and reju reju rejuvenating your life. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. So go back, come back with me. That uh, gentleman who said that uh, his, uh, uh, his help is in the name of the Lord, where we read with concerning uh, Elisha, okay? And this other gentleman, this young king, who in Second Chronicles 26 verse 15 was, uh, the Bible says, he was marvelously helped. It was the blessing and the gift of men that he had, nothing more. He didn't build the, 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 the inventions, the first generation tank, armored tank. It was people under him that built it. This is another scenario of another king who was, instead of pleading with God for help, he was threatening to kill God's servant. And from that point, his story went real funny. But your story will start to go right side up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So if anything you know today is the help of God that you need, and that is what he's offering. The Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain grace and find mercy when you need it most. And these are the days of mercy. These are the days of mercy. And he wants you to access that same mercy. The sure blessings, the sure mercies of Jacob. The Lord will have you have it. He wants you to have it. And because it's his will for you to access his God's help, God's help will not be far from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to allow one or two persons to share their testimony. I'm so happy that some of them are here already, uh, some things that the Lord did for them. In fact, somebody called me and said, so and so is going on. Pray that they, nobody should bother me when I get to where I'm going. And exactly it happened. You may think it's small. If you've ever been in limbo at an, uh, this thing, as a transit point, you understand how unsettling that could be. But we thank God he is not just the way they are talking about it. God did not leave us without a witness. Hallelujah. So let me let me allow some people to do this so that we can start to pray. Um, if uh, I, I wish this to Florence is here to share. Hallelujah. Uh, the... Okay, let me give two persons the opportunity that they may want to testify. Uh, where where are you, Minister Olivia? And uh, good evening, sir. I'm here, sir. Yeah, please. I will want you to just share your story in a nutshell. Encourage the number of us because we're about to start to pray. 
And oh, then, uh, after that, if Mama, you know, uh, I really wish uh, uh, Sister Florence Akufo is around here, but she's not here yet, but I know she will come. But in the meantime, we will start to pray. Maybe uh, uh, there are others who also experienced some things that I believe that they needed to also share to encourage the faith of others. Because the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. So I will stop here, man. Just tell tell us what God <laughs> Mention your name, tell us what God did. Let others yeah. get encouragement from it because this thing we, we overcome by the word of our testimony and by the Hallelujah. Of the Lamb. Hallelujah. You're all <laughs> Thank you, sir. Lamb Good Lord. evening, everyone. Um, Olivia is my name. I just want to testify about the goodness of God in my life. Um, a few weeks ago, um, supposed to keep on saying, oh, you would hear good news, you would hear good news, check your email or anything, letter. Of course, he didn't know what it is I was dealing with at the time. So, and it had to do with a car that I leased. And they wanted to backdate, I mean, the payment, you know, so that I would have to pay much more than original got it, you know. And I look at it that while if they would implement this, I've already lost the car already because I will not be able to pay for that. So the only thing I did, I prayed. And the second thing I did was I doubted. I prayed and I doubted. Let me tell you what the doubt was. We should not doubt God. I doubted because I now went to look for, I started searching for other deals, you know, that I could get to something like that. Okay. When they come back with their decision letter, if it's not good, at least I already have this. The long and short of it was that all the other ones that I went through, I mean, they even came out with prices that are higher than the one that I had, and I couldn't get out of it. The long and short story of it was that, okay, they will do an assessment of your finances to determine this. Do you know that they did not even bother to ask me about my budget, whether I could do this or not. Instead, they just apologized and said that, I, I mean, that the payment of that car remains the same that I have. Glory to God, hallelujah, because I don't want to take hallelujah. the time because people want to pray. Hallelujah, there so are others. Thank feet. the Lord for that. The message came, you don't have to pay more. Grace did yeah. for you. What other no, no. people accomplish? Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, okay, there is another person. I'm just trying to patch some people in, even as they come in, so that we can continue to enjoy the Lord. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 there are several of them, but time is of essence. And uh, let me allow, can Mama, what do you call it? Mama, I would become so so many in here that we didn't see. Where is Mama? Okay. The El okay, Mama Eugenia here. Is anybody with her? Can she can she tell the house a little bit of what God did? And uh, we have to be very precise and just sum it up. And then we can press on. Because we need to start to pray now. Hallelujah. The, the main deal here is God's help comes through. And when it does, life takes an easier route. And that's what I want to pray for you. Everyone under the sound of my voice, even those who watch it on YouTube later, I pray and I declare the help of the Lord will come through. Just like the scripture we read earlier the help of Jehovah will come through for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The help of Jehovah. This is the time, 20, 20, April 2024. As we go through this week into the month of April, the resurrection power of Jesus will be evident in your circumstances, in your life as family and as individual. The Lord will show up for you 
at a level you have not seen him lately. And you will be marvelously helped in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to pray with you, uh, Dickness Vera. If you can take it, just unmute for me. Unmute for me if you can. Okay, sir. Yeah. I hope everything went well. Yes, I got back like an hour ago. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I hope to go back tomorrow. Yes. Okay, that's just the follow up. No worries. Let's pray. Yeah. And so, Father God, thank you very much for your daughter. Thank you for the help that you released to her. Lord God, thank you. Because this that has gone through, thank you for settlement. The Lord is talking about settlement. I don't know what he wants to settle you with, but he say he's bringing you to a place of settlement. So receive right now the grace for settlement, supernatural settlement. Let it Amen. come through in the Amen. name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. Because the angels of the Lord that bring, that bring glad tidings are perching at your doorpost. They are right there at your doorpost. Let there be an invasion of divinity upon your situation in the name of Jesus. Thank you because the angels that bring glad tidings, their commander is Gabriel by name. Lord, thank you for a safe arrival at her doorpost with glad tidings and encouraging reports. Thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Musu, thank can you, you please, Amen. yeah. Amen. Please, Musu, can you just um, unmute for me and just say praise the Lord? Musu Kalon. Can you hear me? Unmute yourself. If I call your name, you unmute. That's the way we function here. I, I don't know if you've ever been here before, but I need you to unmute yourself. Okay? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, can you check? Maybe he can't. Sometimes some people can't, but you can. Maybe, maybe their internet is slow. No, they... maybe they can't, but you may be able to if you can. Unmute. Okay. Let me ask him to, uh, I've clicked on that and asked him to just, uh, uh, okay. yeah, he's been able to unmute now. I want to pray with you right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord says the battle that has slowed down your life hitherto, that I've tried to like almost like shave you bare, shave you bare. That was the intent of the enemy, to shave you bare, to clean you out. But the Lord is saying that he's flipping the table on the adversary in the name of Jesus. And he said, the strong man of your household mm -hmm. has already been judged. The strong man of your household, that person who came into alignment with the enemy, to try to hurt you. The Lord is saying that their, their cup has been filled. And so the time of vengeance on them is now. So receive justice for that which have been, you've been arm twisted and things have been taken from you fearfully. And it's like you didn't have a person to speak and defend you. And the Lord is saying, he is your defender. The Lord is saying, he is your yeah. defender. So I decree that there be justice served, mm -hmm. and that which is meant to mm -hmm. be begin to come back to you. God is talking about refreshing, mm -hmm. restoration. Receive restoration mm -hmm. in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Receive mm -hmm. restoration in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. I decree that mm -hmm. everything that I've tried to um, twist you and take things from you that should not be taken from you, that the Lord mm -hmm. needs to cause restoration to happen that everything mm. that is meant to be yours begin to come back in the name mm. of Jesus. That the mm. next few months will be very eventful because justice will begin, that people will speak up for you where you have been mm. like, you, you have not been able to speak for yourself because they won't even listen.
to the suffering mm -hmm. and the things you have been through. The Lord says, I will answer for you and that which mm -hmm. is yours from the Lord will begin to come out. So I decree, begin, let it mm -hmm. begin today in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Enter in the mm -hmm. new season. Enter into mm -hmm. a new season in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Do you live alone? Mm -hmm. Presently? Yes. Yes. Your children are grown up? Yes. Okay. The Lord says he will give you, he said he, he, he will surround you with people who will be willing to support you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. I, I want to bless. Uh, he just wants me to just bless people. Please, before I continue, let's do this. As many yes, as, yes. so please, you don't have to put on your microphone, just leave it the way it is, but please put your hand or your chest where you are and say after me, I feel the command to bless today. And Lord mm. God, I'm asking that everyone under the sound of my voice begin to mm. experience your goodness, that your favor will show upon them in a mighty mm. manner usual way, that the will mm. match as we are going mm. to the end of this month. Lord will mm. bring out every pending mm. project, every pending mm. issue that have defined mm. solution. Let solution begin mm. to come through from the right mm. from the left in the mm. name mm. of Jesus. As many as are under the sound of my voice, I'm asking mm. your blessing to touch upon them, that you will mm. touch upon them, that you will turn the tide let the enemy suffer defeat and God's people will go free in the name Amen. of Jesus. Receive a baptism Amen. of boldness. Receive Amen. a baptism Amen. of boldness in the name of Amen. Jesus. The Lord is fighting Amen. for you and you will hold your peace. Amen. Every blessing Amen. that God has intended for you, that which has been made, let it be broken. Let it be broken Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Timmy, can you unmute for me? And after that one, uh, the lap, you can also unmute for me. Timmy, can you unmute yes, for sir. me? Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. So uh, the, uh, the Lord says a new season is unfolding, just like we've just entered spring where I am right now. The Lord said, and in the time of spring, things grow. But that is also the time that kings go to walk. But the king of glory will war in your favor. Amen. Not have to lift a finger. Those Amen. who speak on your behalf will be bold because God will urge them to do so. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I declare and declare concerning you that divine help will come through for you. Amen. Of Jesus. The Lord Amen. Says, I will give you clear direction. You will not group anymore. You will be assured. Amen. But I should tell you, ask as though you will never be denied. Did you hear that? Mm. Yes, sir. Ask as though you will never be denied. And don't ask small. Mm. And so, Lord God, thank you. That which you have set in motion, help her to complete it, O oh God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every place you needed an approval, let approval be given. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, thank you, sir. The Lord, can you please uh, unmute for me? Good evening, sir. Okay, yeah. Good evening. Lord God, I want to thank you very much even for your daughter. Thank you very much for the things you've already decided. He said, I will cause that which grow of itself to sustain you in this window of time. Amen. Lord, that which grows up of its own 
It said a time mm. of jubilee. A window of jubilee is opening up. Amen. And I will cause you to, your step will be at the door. You will be able to put your step in the door and grace and you a seat at the table. Amen. That right now. Amen. Have a foot in the door and the next thing is sit at the table of the Amen. Decision. Amen. For bringing her up there. You know, like you said to the man, Elder John, and he echoed your voice, Lord. Come up hither and see what mm. must happen shortly. And Lord, you began to show things. Thank you for the mm. dimensions of the things you show her. Thank, Thank you, you for assurance in this Thank time. You, Receive Thank the you. assurance in Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If somebody is trying to come in. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, let's pray. Uh, this uh, a bio me. Can you please uh, unmute for me? If you can hear me, please. Wow. I need I need this person to unmute. If you can unmute for me, that would be good. Okay, I'll have to go to somewhere else. Oh, I need to see Calabar. Oh, Ramakan Talabri Tan Talabiyans. Yes, Princella, you can unmute for me then. We'll come back to this person when she's ready. Princella, you can unmute, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, let me try and unmute for you here. Okay. Uh, if you cannot unmute, if you can hear me, just type yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you. I, I just didn't want to start speaking unless I'm sure that you can hear. Okay. Okay, good. Let's pray. You can hear me. And so, Father, thank you for the countdown. The Lord says is the, the time is counting down and it's about to hit the good day and everything that I have promised concerning a given date will be fulfilled. It said, lift up your head. The help is speeding up in your direction. Lift up your head for help is speeding up in your direction. So, Father, thank you for causing help to speed up towards your daughter in the name of Jesus. Lord, I trust you that you're doing for her right now the promised blessing, the promised milestone event. Thank you for making it happen. In the name of Jesus, I hear celebration. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Let it come through, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Amen. And uh, Lord, amen. I pray. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. you could not unmute. Wow, but let her lock out you. and lock right back in. I still have something on. But they could hear you. Okay, good. Yeah. It's good. Uh, I think it may be the speed of her internet. Sometimes these things happen. It's okay. Let's let's just pray. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, Michaela, please, can you unmute for me? Uh, Sister Shade, I'll, I'll call you <laughs> Michaela on mute for me. Let Good me, evening, sir. Let me just get this off my mind. Uh, he said, out of you shall come a new song. Father, Lord, thank you for the grace for a new song. Just receive a tumbra la kazika, man. Receive a season of a new song. Ooh. Let there be a new song. 
the walls are collapsing. Let there be a new song that they will hear. Lord, walls are collapsing. Let there be a new song in the name of Jesus. Thank you for a new song, a song of victory. Thank you for a shout of victory. Thank you for a shout of victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. The walls are collapsing. Genesis 49, ma'am. From verse 22 to 26. Personalize it. Yes, sir. Genesis 20, I mean 49. Okay? Yes, sir. Genesis 49, right there from verse 42 on. No, from verse 22, sorry, not 42. Okay? Yes, Personalize sir. it. His help is coming through. Thank God for a new son. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So um, where is... Uh... Okay, let me pray for the two of you right now. Let's quickly do this. Uh, Sister Shade, Sister... Um, yes, sir. Uh, Inessa, yeah. So I take on Shade right now. Is anybody with you, Sister Shade? Is uh, there... Yeah, my husband, but he's in the room. I'm going to get him. Okay, please. I'll wait. I'll wait on you to do that. Yeah. When he's back with you, I want to just bless. Your... He's here, sir. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Ah, good evening, my brother. Good yes, evening. sir. Yeah. The Lord just want me to make a pronouncement of blessing. The Bible say, "I have received the commandment to bless," yes, and they are blessed you in the name of the name, uh, in the name of the Lord who is the owner, the possessor of the ends of the earth. Let speed be added to your journey. Let speed be added to your journey that your, your realm will experience his peace. I decree your realm experience God's peace because God's help is come to you. Experience God's peace in the name Amen. of Jesus. He said Amen. the time of recovery is here. Lord God, thank you. Everything that seems to have been almost grind to a standstill, pick up momentum and pick up speed. Lord, let your blessing that make it rich attend the family of my brother and his household in the name of Jesus. Amen. They did not do it for this man and his wife and their children. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Let there be a robust shift in the event around him. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Sister Amen. Sister Inessa, can you please unmute for me, please? I'm, I'm here. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, Sister Shadi, the Lord said, just one more step and we will be different. Sorry? That's it. That's the what I want to say. What just one more step. One I'm not here. Just one more step, and we, we will have a change of song. Things are completely different. That's it. I'm back to you, Sister Inessa. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. I'm here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That the cloud is heavy and pregnant with rain. It's about to rain. It's about to rain. It's not just a physical rain. Is a rain that makes things grow around you. And he said, I should show, I should remind you of the scripture that says, I think it's in verse 4, Genesis, uh, Genesis chapter 2 or so. Yeah, where he said, um, the the excuse me, yeah. Yeah. These are the generations, okay, of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the days that the Lord made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth. 
and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord had not caused it to rain upon earth. And there was no man to till the ground. This is the gist here. The Lord says, now that I have positioned you, I will command the rain to fall because the effect of the rain is growth on every side. But there must be somebody empowered by God to manage growth. That is what he said, I should tell you. I've empowered you to manage the growth that is about to happen. So get yourself ready. Growth is about to start at a speed that will amaze you, that will leave your head spinning in amazement. Lord, thank you. Let your rain fall. Head teliga da suprene. Let your rain fall. Because you have a daughter that can manage the effects of the rain. Let loose the rain, oh God. In the name of Jesus. I command Amen. the winds of God, the south winds to come through. Even for oh, Inessa, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let the south wind come through. The south wind is the south wind of blessing and increase that the rain brings along. Lord, thank you for the release of the rains. Let the rains come through, Lord God. Everything in her path begin to grow at the meteoric speed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Few months, it will be very eventful between now and June. It will be very, very eventful. So roll up your sleeve and get ready. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Multiple meet meetings here. While you are in this one, the ticket for the next airport, you're going to travel quite a little bit in the next few months because there will be a reason for you to do a lot of trips. Get ready. Thank you, Father, for doing this. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Naomi, no. Where, uh, yeah, Naomi, where are you? On mute. Okay. Are you home? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Please put your hand on your, your right hand on your head. I want to bless you. Okay, sir. Yeah. Lord God, in your name, I pronounce a blessing. Amen. That you will make this, your daughter, a reference point of mercy. Make Amen. her a reference point of your mercy. Let Amen. your mercy speak over Naomi in the name of Jesus. Her name Amen. means beautiful as a gazelle. Amen. That's the meaning of her name. Beautiful as a gazelle. Amen. Harmless and beautiful as a gazelle. Lord God, I'm asking that your, your word will come to pass concerning her. I command mm -hmm. that, Lord God, your help will come through for her. I bless mm -hmm. her that, Lord, her expectations are exceeded in mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. So shall it be. Everybody mm -hmm. shouting Hosanna. I'm sure most of us don't really remember the meaning. It means save now. And I will declare for the base in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So I want to pray for another person here. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's pray together, Sister Bumi. Can you do this? Good evening, one? sir. Hallelujah. Good evening. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Lord, let the door swing. Amen. Let the wings, the, let the wind from the south swing the doors. Amen. A, a two massive door, like the type that swing, those kind of big, heavy door that swings in almost like an automated way. Lord God, I want to uh, let the doors swing and stay open. Amen. Amen. Lord, let Amen. the doors swing and stay open. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Let your Amen. carried out to the letter. 
Amen. Six, from verse 6 to 10. From verse mm. 6 to 10. Lord God, thank you. He said, thank I you, Lord. have been prepared. Let them go and deliver it. Even Amen. Jew. This time, Lord, let it be delivered even to Bumi in the name of Jesus. That we Amen. Shall, let nothing be taken from it, but let them go and be Amen. Amen. Swiftly. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay. Expect Amen. surprise visit. It looks to me like uh how do I describe them now? They are like inspectors. Almost like government okay. inspectors coming and say, look, we have come to check your facility and how you are doing. Just the reports we are getting, we were, we're just here to confirm on this. But they are coming will almost like trigger someone else saying, okay, mm -hmm. this is the proper time for you to get interested in this woman's business. Lord God, let that yeah. happen that we need to come through. Let the interest Amen. in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, sir. Yeah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Some people are trying to join in, but let's just keep on doing what we need to do. They go watch. They, I think they'll go and watch uh, it on YouTube. I own this uh, distracted. Zina, can you please, my sister, can you please just uh, unmute for me? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. The Lord says, stand still and see how I help you. Amen. He said, stand still and see how I'll help you. Amen. Oh, Quite a number of persons are here waiting. Okay, let me just patch this bit. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. It's such a huge crowd that just entered now. I didn't know that. Okay, Zina, I'm I'm still here. Yes. The, the Lord yes. said. Stand still and see how I come through with help. Amen. Father God, thank you for the help that you're bringing to this your daughter, Lord. Amen. In fact, there was a time recently you said, if he will do this complete for you, that you will tell about him everywhere you go. He said, get ready to keep your side of the bargain because what you said, you should mean it because God is taking it serious. And a lot of good surprises are about to unfold. So you yes. also keep your own part on telling about Jesus everywhere you turn, okay? Yes, sir. Lord God, let your promise be kept with this woman. Faithful are you, O oh God. Let your promise be kept in the name of Jesus. Your word Amen. says, if they obey me and serve me, they will spend the rest of their days in prosperity and the rest of their years in pleasure. Let the laws of God pleasure this woman. And let your goodness smile on her in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Showcase your might on her behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And every struggle with what looks like uh, your, uh, well, I, uh, how do I call it now? Like there's been a struggle with uh, your thoughts being beclouded in a sense that it makes decision making. Uh, your reflexes have slowed down, sort of. But uh, the Lord says, I'm turning that all around now in the name yeah. of Jesus. Lord God, that yeah. that she's able to, Lord, Lord God, she regains a, a new release of supernatural energy in her mind. That she's able to literally process things faster because there have been like almost something beclouding the thoughts and all of that of late and lord god i command a reversal of all of that let your help come through for her in jesus amen. name amen. Amen. amen amen thank you hallelujah you're welcome man. thank you fam. hallelujah let me just pray for you i don't know what 
God is up to, but I know it's for good. Each time I wanted to just uh, see some things he says, just, just bless them. That's what he just keeps saying. There is this thing, for last day, he said, I should tell you the, yes, for last day, K. Yes, I should tell you, fear not, I have your back. Fear not, mm -hmm. I have your back. If there's been a pain mm -hmm. around your chest before, not soft tissue pain, just almost like pain on the sternum in the center of the chest, like that, the chest bone distance. Not soft tissue, but almost like chest bone pain and all of that. He said, fear not, I have you. I have your back. Mm -hmm. Father, thank mm -hmm. you. Because you are the mighty one whose shadow protects us from the enemy and the evil one. Lord, thank you for protection over this woman and her seed in the I command that your seed will see days of joy and that together Amen. there will be songs of gratitude. Thank you for Amen. commanding songs of gratitude to come from her in the Amen. name of Amen. Let it be said, your help came through. Amen. In Jesus name. Let you remind you, fear not. Amen. I trust you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There is somebody. Amen. Thank here. you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. There is somebody here. You're listening to my voice right now. You've been afraid and you really could not pinpoint it. A lot of things like you are feeling like somebody sitting on a keg of gunpowder that if this should happen, that. So much damage will be done. The Lord is saying, I should remind that individual that in vain do uh, fowlers set a net for a bird. He said, I should announce to you, you have escaped. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Lord is saying, I, I should announce to you, you have escaped. The things you are expecting that is literally giving you a sleepless night. He said, I should announce to you, you have escaped. They cannot pin that on you. You have escaped. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for grace to escape. Thank you for grace to escape. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. There is this person, open exchange. Can you please? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good evening. How are, you? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good. Let me let me just wow. Today is not like this, this is not the normal thing. But each time I want to say what is showing me, he say just bless them. <laughs> yeah. Lord, I bless Yahweh Nathan. Because that's the meaning of your name. Jehovah gives. That's the meaning of your name. Lord God, that you will give him a reason to jubilate. Amen. In about two months, in about two months, upper limit three, that jubilation will be completed because it will lead Amen. you into something new. Amen. Lead you into something new. It's just a window of like a quarter of a, I mean, the quarter of a year in about two, three months max, let the circle be completed. Oh God, let the circle Amen. be completed. Even concerning this, your son in the name of Jesus. That Lord, the circle is completed. Let massive help come for him. Amen. Let the roadmap that has been given to him, Lord God, those who will play support role to help him speed up. Lord God, we thank you for sending them. Lord God, that they will take responsibility for him in the name of Jesus. Amen. You need somebody to speak on your behalf, to recommend you. Lord, the Lord has already sent that person and he will take it personal and do that which God has commanded. Take the lead that in the name of Jesus. On Amen. this platform, we will testify to that which Amen. God has shown me. But in his name, I bless you. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank please, you, can sir. you, Violet, can you please unmute for me? He said, I am your help and your exceeding great reward. Violet, if you can, I know you can hear me. The Lord says, I am your help and exceeding great reward. The fear of men creates a snare. But those who trust the Lord shall not be moved. Let the Lord God himself raise you. Father, thank you for the blessing of being kept. Thank you for the blessing of being kept by your power in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blessing of being kept by your power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you praise. Hela kazuka rabashana. Lord God, I thank you because you do much more. Even for this season. Lord God, I thank you for the word of assurance. The Lord gives you that, Violet, in Jesus' name. So hold your peace, for you see the dial turn because of you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Musu, I, I tried to talk to you earlier, but uh, maybe oh, the phone was so. not working. Yeah, yeah, the next one. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah. There are two phones calling Musu here. There is Musu alone, mm -hmm. and there's a Musu Kalon. Which one? Is it the same person? Musu Kalon. Yeah. Musu Kalon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What part of the world are you? Are you in Europe? London. Yeah, in Europe. Okay. Thank you, fam. Thank you, fam. Oh, thank you, fam. Do you, do you walk out regularly in the evenings? I want to have meaning to what God is showing me concerning you. There is a sidewalk in which, like you're taking a walk in the community, like an evening walk in the evening, walking uh, in the sidewalk in the evening, like in a community, like a residential community. And I'm just trying to ask because something else is deeper than that. But that, let me ask, physically, do you do such exercise in the evenings, like an evening walk? Is it a regular thing with you, ma'am? No. Okay. When I'm coming from work. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you walk, uh, yeah. you drive to work or you walk from work. I don't know your situation. But I see you on the sidewalk walking and it's like a residential community with separate gates and entry and all of that. That you were taking a walk there and that like at a point you start to pick up speed like you're walking a little faster. Like I need, yeah. I, I need to get home fast or get away from something that you suspect was coming from behind. Yeah, but yeah. Saying, that's true. But the Lord is saying, fear not because I'm keeping you safe. Amen. You in the grip of my protection. I have my Amen. protection around you. That's Amen. why the enemy, even with the threats they've issued, that's why they've not been able to make good their threats. The Lord says, I am your defense and I am your yeah. Father, thank you for doing this for this woman. And Lord God, concerning yeah. the... Do you use glasses, ma'am? Uh, reading glasses. Reading glasses, okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to make up... I, I want to pray. Lord God, that you will impact upon her visual acuity beginning tonight. Please do me a favor. Yeah. Put your right hand across. Even if the glasses is on your face, just put your hand across. And there's yeah. a, be a supernatural progression and improvement of your glasses. I mean, of your mm. eye, even without Amen. them. I command, Lord God, that the help that you are able to give. 
be released beyond that which she has even asked for in the name of Jesus. Let every, every abdominal complications that that seems to destabilize when it starts, let it become history beginning Amen. tonight in the name Amen. of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Lord God, Amen. I thank you because a significant miracle in her health Amen. will be effected now in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will testify Amen. to a literal physical change in your health status. In Amen. This name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Bless you, man. There is Miss Amen. there is one Akin here. Can you can you please unmute for me, Akin? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. I want to pray with you. There are a few yes, questions that are just coming through. Okay. Yeah, Father, Lord God, thank you very much for this person here. This is your son here. Thank you. The Lord says, I will help you cross the bridge. Don't be afraid of what's happening to the right and to the left. Keep your focus. Okay, he said, keep your focus. I'll help you cross safely. Okay. That you will cross safely. Lord God, I decree protection over this, your son, and everything that is triggering fear that he is afraid of. Who do I even discuss this with? Lord God, I command okay. all of that to fade away because you will okay. give his security and protection and exceeding great reward in the name Amen. of Jesus. Let the voice Amen. of the enemy be drowned. Second Samuel Amen. chapter three verse one. Write it down. Second Samuel chapter three verse one. Hallelujah. Second Samuel chapter three verse okay. one. Okay, it says yes. there was a long drawn war between the house of David and the house of Saul. The house of Saul was weaker and weaker. The house of David works stronger and stronger. Receives strength in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Lord, I'm asking that there be a direct impact upon the life of this, my brother. Let his confidence Amen. rise because you walk him through the bridge. Amen. On the other side of it, he will shout, yes, I made it. But Lord God, I also help him to remember you are the Amen. one who gave him strength to come through Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. There shall be a new song in Amen. the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's so much being spoken or said or written in here. I didn't even quite look at them. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, it is well with you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Sister Olajum, okay, have you been prayed for today. I wished not. Can you? Good evening, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I didn't even know you were live in there. Yeah. Because I close my eyes most of these times. I just, uh, <laughs> I open when just to see whose face is being highlighted by the Spirit of God. So, Thank you. it's your turn. Is it time for singing? Is it time for singing? Get ready, get your tambourine ready that you're going to do a victory shout and a big victory dance. Thank Amen. you. You know, the Lord is reminding me, say, go and tell her, those who set snares have just, uh, have just, they themselves have just been, uh, where is this word here? That they themselves have just tripped on the snare they set. The enemy set a snare almost like to catch you in your moment of anger in which you are not pleased with something and you are trying to express yourself. Now he's quoting it out of context completely. The Lord says that let the, the, the enemy is being brought to book. The Amen. enemy is being brought to book. Who want to Amen. twist your words against you oh, and you. say something that you didn't quite say? He's taking it out of context and trying to twist it. But the Lord's 
the Lord is your judge, Daniel. The mm -hmm. Lord is judge. Lord, thank you for defending this daughter of Zion. Thank in the Lord. name of Jesus. Let the enemies snare, catch them in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That those who like put you out of context, let the true picture emerge so that mm -hmm. they will be ashamed in the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing this right now, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for doing this. That every word that has been twisted before and misrepresenting the facts, Father God, that you will set the record straight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Let there be a trespass offering offered in the direction of my sister in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless Hallelujah. you, sir. Yeah. Uh, is this Sister Bola? If if that's her, please let uh, let her unmute. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Yeah. Now this is what the Lord is saying. He said, "The feeling of a vicious circle is about to dry up. That which have been feeding and fueling that." is drying out now mm -hmm. feeling of a vicious circle that mm -hmm. we are making this movement without progress mm -hmm. it says drying out now mm -hmm. the the curse is broken mm -hmm. and you've escaped mm -hmm. that feeling of vicious circle is broken and that you to travel straight consistently making displacements, not mm -hmm. just repetition in circles, but making outright displacement, meaning covering mileage. Lord, mm -hmm. thank you for progress. Mm -hmm. Thank you for progress. Mm -hmm. Thank you for breaking the arm of the wicked. Mm -hmm. Thank you for drowning their voice. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pronounce the blessing of this season because you keep urging me to bless, to bless, mm -hmm. to bless. I will really encourage those who want to either plant a financial seed, but something about today is about blessing. It's about, I want to say something, it's a bless them first. Bless them first. Lord God, I bless this woman. Mm -hmm. Let your word happen for her mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Let your word happen for her. Mm -hmm. Lord God, that Lord, she will say, oh, I never knew it could come this big. I never mm. knew it could come this good. Lord God, mm. that she will say that because the arm of the enemy is broken. In mm. the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus yes, mm. Mama Yinka, can Thank you please you. Uh, unmute for me? Thank you, Father. Good evening, sir. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. He said, when next they hear of you, the decisions will have been made. And it's in your favor. So when next they hear of you, the decisions will have been made. Even the naysayers, uh, Nehemiah chapter 6, Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 6, verses 15 and 16. Nehemiah chapter 6, verses 15 and 16, ma. Hallelujah. Lord, yes, thank sir. you because the decisions are made already. And when the naysayers will hear of it, they will be much cast down in their own eyes because God did not make them relevant in the decision-making process. Father, thank you for editing the, those who will make the decision. Thank you for editing them in the name of Jesus. There is an editing going on in the council of heaven. Like two fellows have been edited, they, not by death, but that they won't have relevant contribution to make anymore. So that, they, so that the rest can make a good and unanimous decision. Father, thank you for making this happen. I wait to Amen. hear the, the, the result of it in the name of Jesus. For Thank you for making, 
for editing those who are making the decision. Thank you for editing out that which would not be complimentary to my sister in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sir, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Florence Akufo is here. She has joined. Who did you say you asking, Florence Akufo. You were asking. She has joined. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Where is she? Oh, yeah. I see her now. I see her now. Hey, my sister, unmute yourself. Thank you for reminding me. I called your name earlier. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you didn't come early. And we're, yeah. just, we, we're heading towards the end. I was going to share with the heart and courage the, 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 the platform, those of us uh -huh. today, that which the Lord did for, I think, your mom. And yes. I, I, I was trying to mention it, but I scanned the screen. I didn't see you. I even mentioned it. Oh. <laughs> was around and all that, but I didn't know if anybody is with her. So I just said, okay, you know what? I'll wait. <laughs> so oh, okay. if we we'll have you around, I'm going to bless and pray with you, but uh, I will allow this. Just share, uh, like in two minutes, can you just just share what the Lord did? You communicated to me already, but it sounds smooth and straight when somebody is in and can just tell it by herself, it's okay. So you have the floor, my sister. Okay. Um, shalom, everyone. Uh, so my my mom, my Eugenia, has been having a uh, discomfort in her abdomen um, prior to uh, last week, up until last week. Um, yeah, meeting. She for for about six weeks, she had been having you know abdominal discomfort, and she was getting worried because it looked like something. Um, akin to probably also or something like that. And um, yeah, so she came on, on Monday last week and pastor uh, prayed for her. And then towards the end of the prayer, he mentioned that, oh, she has um, that infection in her, um, her abdomen is drying out and, and everything is fine. Like an and um, I remember that word. It was like an inflammation that is shrinking back. Yes. Out. Yes, yeah. yeah, that inflammation is drying out. That's what you said. Yes, that inflammation is drying out. That's what you just said. Yeah, and I was quite surprised because we had been, yeah, we had been discussing it, and um, um, I had even previously I, at the weekend advised her to change her diet and all that kind of thing, and she had booked to go and see her doctor. So this happened on Monday, and then on Tuesday she went to see the doctor, and the doctor said exactly what, uh. Apostle said that, yes, so she she was eating something, was producing too much acid, and it had caused inflammation in her guts, and that it's now, you know, it's now reducing, so she's going to be fine. So it's like, it just confirmed what Apostle said, and I just give God the glory. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't go away. I just need to pray for you now. And then the uh, evangelist said, I will also pray after you... <clears throat> Uh, my sister Florence. So let's pray. Lord God, I want to thank you because you are faithful to your word. I command your blessing, Lord, upon this, your daughter. I ask, mm -hmm. oh God, that her expectations be exceeded, that you mm -hmm. will defend her by night and by day. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Father, thank Amen. you for a new song. It's a season of a new song that the, the month of April will be a very active month. A very eventful month. I command Amen. the floodgates to open up for her. That Lord, she will Hallelujah. be in and out and find pasture in that name. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank because you, when you give quietness, no one can make trouble. Amen. Thank you for keeping peace in her borders. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank God you. Bless God bless. You. Yeah. Please, Ma, can you unmute Ma? Evangelista Deti Nukema, please. Hello. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, let me yeah. just let me just pray for you. Amen. The Lord says, I "Have raised my banner of justice." Amen. This will be served until the enemy is thoroughly beaten down. Amen. Father, thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Shutting down the adversary. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord God, because you are the one that can defend. Thank yes. you for being the defender of your daughter. Thank you, Lord okay. God, because every, every arm that has stood in the way, Lord, thank you because you wave them off with the wave of the hand. Thanks for Amen. times of refreshing. Man, Amen. Expect times of refreshing. And that Amen. started already. Lord God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. You said with joy we will fetch water out of the wells of salvation. Amen. Let that well begin to bubble over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Amen. increase everywhere. Thank yes. you for causing increase to come. For this is here. Amen. 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 Please put your hand on your back. Do like this on your back. Yes. You can, I'm sure you can see me. Yes, yeah. I've done it. Mm -hmm. Lord God, let your healing anointing rest upon every square inch of her spine. Let Amen. Ease, even in her breathing and even Amen. in the whole structure and the spine Amen. area. In the, Amen. Mind, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the warmth of the Lord's mercy wrap around you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome, man. You're yes, welcome. Sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There is midday foods. Can you please do something? Can just unmute for me. Okay. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Okay. The Lord said, I'm not afar off. I am near. And I have not forgotten you. I don't know why he said I should tell you that. But whatever it is, he said he is not far away. He is near. He is present. And he has not forgotten you. And so, Father, thank you for assurance. And thank you for confidence. Thank you, Jesus. Every attack on her, her self-worth and self-confidence, Lord God, I'm asking that it be restored. Let the voice of the adversary be drowned. And let Amen. it still come to pass. The Lord Amen. says, I am not late concerning my promise. I will make it good. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Have your peace because he's walking. And you will see the result of his walking behind the scene. Amen. In Jesus' name. He said, Amen. Far off. Don't be afraid. He is near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's Amen. Anna, where are you? Can you Thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. Can you please, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> he said, get ready to laugh because you have escaped. Amen. And there is reward coming through. But the Lord is showing me an aspect of you that uh, that I will bring you into a group in which what you guys will do mainly will be to just almost like instruct you on kingdom ethics. I don't know your discipline. I don't know what you do for a living, what you do for work and what you do on the job. But I, 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 I see God bring you into a circle in which you become almost like a facilitator or trainer who, who instructs and, uh, and help to develop uh, the next team. Almost like grooming mm -hmm. successors. That's the way you, the Lord, that's the picture of you that the Lord is showing me. So, Lord God, I decree that that which you will have your daughter pass on 
either in skill, in knowledge, in information. And Lord God, that you will cause her to do it with excellence in the name of Jesus. That Lord Amen. God will shortly turn around and see how many people have benefited from that which you have taught her in the name of Jesus. Father, we're asking that you will empower her in the hidden man of the heart. And uh, were you teaching Sunday school at a point? Um, yes, I do. I help with the children's ministry in my church. Okay. I, I didn't know that. Uh, but uh, I see you instruct and teach and all of that. Just like mm -hmm. moving the next generation kind of a thing. Lord God, mm -hmm. I'm asking that you will sharpen her skill more. That Lord mm -hmm. God, what she's building now, in a few years' time, they begin to receive accolades and, re and, and awards everywhere they turn because of the investment of your time and talent, which I have given you, said the Lord, said, mm -hmm. be diligent with them, especially those who seem to be slow at learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially those who, you want to say they learn differently. Yeah. There, there, there are two of them that are kind of show or present traits of autistic situation. But the Lord is saying that he will turn all of those children before they are taken away from your class. Amen. Not only with words coming to them, but that the word of the Lord will transform them from inside out. Amen. I thank you for focusing your searchlight on these ones and causing a renewal to happen in their mind. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. For making this thing to happen today. Thank Hallelujah. You Thank you for making this happen today. Yes, it said there is this there is this prayer request that you wrote um either put in your Bible or put in a wallet so you can remember regularly. The Lord said <laughs> you will soon look at it. Uh, I mean you can confirm what I'm talking about. <laughs> you yeah. you yes, wrote sir. either it's in your Bible or in your, like a clutch pouch, you put it <laughs> so that you can see it regularly. Yes, sir. Like you still looked at it, either today or yesterday. You still looked at <laughs> it. Yes, sir, I did. It's in my prayer journal. Okay. <laughs> the Lord says you are about to take it done. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. How old is your youngest child right now? I don't have children yet, sir. You don't have children yet? Are you married? Not yet, sir. Okay. We got a double barrel for you. <laughs> Husband is coming. And the baby girl that opens the womb is coming too. Write it in your journal. Put today's date. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Father, thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name. Let somebody shout hallelujah. God is in our midst. Hallelujah. 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 Can you please say? Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, you know, once in a while, God would delve into our business. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Jesus. You know, Hallelujah. There's no hidden from him. We are all naked before him. All of us. <laughs> we are all naked. Yes. Sometimes he just show us, hey, you are not mm -hmm. hidden. You are as open as the broad daylight. Uh -huh. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, can you please unmute for me? Let me pray with you. And then, uh, uh, Brother Ashaju, can you please uh, also follow that? Okay, I'll just pray for you all the same, either you're able to mute or not. At least you can go and watch it if you didn't hear me well. Thank you. You've been asking for resurrection life. You will see the effects all around you. Everything that seems to have been comatose are all coming alive. They are all coming alive. And these that you say, this too shall pass. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, it's passed already. And result of the changes 
will begin to surround you because you see them popping up all around you. Father, thank you for, oh Lord God, for giant strides, even those who seem to have promised and failed, they are revisiting the promises now in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for making things happen. Thank you. You said out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Lord, thank you for making your daughter ready to give thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ashiwaju, can you unmute for me? Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. So, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Things. The first thing he said, I'm, I'm, I'm resolving the issue of the accommodation. I'm resolving it. I don't know what that means to you. But secondly, he said, stand your ground because I'm doing things differently for you. Thank you for the grace for full recovery. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the grace for full recovery. He said, in three months, there will be so much transformation. In three months, there will be so much transformation. So he said, lean your ears in my direction because obedience to simple basic instructions will change a whole lot of things. Lord, thank you for allowing the time of training, the time of discipline. Thank you, Lord, because you begin to bring the results that will show that show to all that you have been there watching how things unfold. Lord, thank you for doing this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Lord. Uh, there is this thing I'm hearing. Just write it down. I don't know how it's going to happen. He's telling me something about an official car. And right now in my head, I don't think you have that. But he's talking about an official car. Lord God, I thank you. Let the job that offers the official car come right through. I will reel them in, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. thank you for doing this, Lord God. To be company owned and company maintained. Company owned and company maintained. Father, thank you for it. Better of course, enjoy it. We give you praise, oh God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Somebody, if there is a child that's been sick, May not even be your child, but it's where you are. Please take a bold step. Pray and lay hands on the child and watch a change happen to that child. It doesn't look like your own. But please do that. God, there is no restraint with God to save by many or by few. Just lay your hands and speak. I command the life of God to bring health to this child. That's all you need to do. You just, God is just needing a conduit to reach the child because many prayers have ascended to heaven. God just needed something to activate. And so, Lord God, we thank you for doing this for your son. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Joan. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. It's been a while. Wow. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. The Lord said, I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. He said, You have mm -hmm. served in many ways with little or no credit for the service you've done. But the Lord said, yes, sir. To begin to uh, endorse you. That's the word. Endorse. Amen. You. Lord, Amen. Lord, I thank you for releasing Amen. divine approval and endorsement upon Amen. in the name of Jesus. See, a number of things. Amen. They didn't acknowledge it. They didn't uh, give you credit for what's been done. They just exactly. Yes, sir. The Lord is saying that the, I will compel them literally to begin to acknowledge Amen. the role you play. Both in Amen. the Amen. system and all that. Lord God, I thank Amen. you for walking. 
daughter to the forefront where her investment of time and skill begin to produce results in the name of Jesus. So don't worry. God says, I know the proper time to make these things happen. Yes. And it will happen and I will gain the glory, says the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so Pray much, sir. More thank person. you, sir. Yeah, we thank God. Let me pray for just a few more persons. There is this person here, Yvonne. Can Yvonne, has Yvonne ever been to this platform before? Yvonne? Yes, sir. Have you been here before? Have you ever been here before? Yes, sir. This is this is my second time. This is your second time. You, it's like I'm yes, not yes. you for the first time. Uh, but let's pray. Let's pray. Just have some little more time here. So, Father, thank you very much for my sister Yvonne. Okay. The Lord said you've been swimming against the current because like around you, everybody is going this way, but it doesn't mean they are right, and you're going this way. And so there have been a lot of conflict of opinion and interest and all of that. But the Lord says, I'm going to begin to cause result to show in your Amen. insisting, I don't want to go with the crowd to do what I know is against my conscience and is it wrong. So the Lord says, I will protect you and begin to prove them wrong. Amen. Job's experience was four men to one, number three men against one. His friends, I call them frenemies. They look like friends, but they are actually enemies. So I call them frenemies. Uh, the time of reward, and as it were, that God says he's going to prove that he has kept you. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. because they are saying, ah, if you're truly a Christian, why has this not happened? Why has that not, that not happened? But God mm -hmm. says the reward that will make them acknowledge that God has been with you is about mm -hmm. to happen. So please do, mm -hmm. me yeah, do me a favor. Put your hand on your head. And I will make a pronouncement of blessing. Lord, I'm asking Amen. that you will bless Yvonne. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That you will give her even much bigger version of Amen. what others were using, like almost on the verge of using it to like mock you. Amen. If you're a Christian, why has this one not come? Why has that not come? Just like a lady, maybe who is in her late thirties, that's not married yet. Say, so you go to church, you go to church. Why has good husband not come? But they are challenging God, and God says, "I will show up and mm -hmm. show out mm -hmm. in grand style mm -hmm. to receive this word that that which the enemy seems to be using to taunt or mock you is going to become a reference point." For your lifting in Amen. the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. Thank you for doing this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, you, sir. Thank you very God much. Bless sir. You, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Where you, is sir. this other person? Let's pray. I think we should close now because uh, I still have. Uh, where is this person? I was trying to get the attention of someone a moment ago. Okay. Sister Kofu, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Hallelujah. Okay. Can you please unmute for me, ma? Hello? Okay. Can you? Okay, she has unmuted. Good. Let us pray. It says it's going to smoothen out. He said the friction is smoothening out and you're regaining speed. The friction is smoothening out and you're regaining speed. I'm talking to you, Mr. Sister Kufo. Lord God, thank you. I command your blessing 
thank you for stabilizing things. The friction is smoothing out. And thank you for speed. The Lord said you will lay down and nothing will ruffle you. I repeat, you will lay down and nothing will ruffle you. Lord, thank you. For you said in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Let your fear keep the enemy at bay. In the name of Jesus. I decree that, Lord, the new song that you've already given, even the song of praise to our God, let it begin to come. Lord God, compelling song because of the gladness of heart. Let it begin to well up and bubble up from within her spirit because she sees what you've done. Lord, thank you for doing much more in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for dreams and visions and out-of-body experiences are part of the benchmark of what you are doing with your people. Thank you for the secrets you share with her. Thank you, Lord God, because she's able to live out even the details, even as you have commanded. Thank you for funding it yourself. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, man, listen to me. There is something, a group of you, almost like they were like, the way they appear like old students' association trying to give back. And everybody is sacrificing and this. And you're saying, uh, I'm not ready for that. This is not the season I should be doing that. Even though I know it's a good thing. But the Lord is saying that a time of reward that will be beyond what you are looking at right now is coming that you will even be able to do these things that I'm talking without it costing you an arm and a foot. So Lord God, I decree, let abundance come. Let joy replace weeping in the name of Jesus. Thank you for making this happen. Thank you for joy of heart that changes the, diff that changes the dynamics in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we please unmute ourselves? I added to Kumbo. Woo. All the same. Okay. Let me pray, but I think we're done now. Okay. Ade to Kumbo, unmute yourself. I'll pray that and let's just talk. Yeah. Hallelujah. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord says, those who go into secret courts is because they don't know how to go to the secret place. The Lord says, I will keep you in my secret place. And when they have expended their own energy, I will not showcase you. So he said, don't defend yourself. There is a lot of uh, what looks like boardroom politics in your business or in your place of work in which cliques are forming. Don't say because they are forming that you get worried, okay? Just calm yourself down and know that God is preparing something bigger than what they will ever aspire for. He's bringing it together for your sake. In the name of Jesus. I hope you're not in this Amen. service. Present. Amen in Jesus' name, sir. Yes, ma'am. No. I said, I hope you're not in civil service. No, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You are all over there. I'm so happy. But Lord God, I'm asking that you will defend this, your daughter, publicly. In the name of Jesus. You will shut the mouth of the accuser of the brethren. Let the mouth of the accuser of the brethren be shut concerning your daughter right now. In the name of Jesus, that you will add over Catisula. Lord, I'm asking that you will pour out like a river, like a flood, your goodness upon this woman. The Lord says, I will vindicate you. Please listen to me. The Lord says, I will vindicate you. I will bring rewards. 
let it be said that everything around you will wear a new look. Everything around you will wear a new look. Receive that. Can you please stretch out your hand if it's possible? Just stretch out your hand and take delivery of that which you are giving, oh God. Let it happen for her. Amen. Yes. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I hear Jesus. the word from Makia. Are you a medic? No, sir. What do you do? Uh, I'm a 90, sir. You're... You are what? In IT. An IT person. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, if you are an IT person, do what I call consecrated compassion. Maybe we should talk about it more because I want to pray for one more person before I go. Okay. But I call it consecrated compassion. It's not everyone that comes acting like they are victims that are the actual victims. Some of them are actually the aggressor. So show consecrated compassion, meaning know the truth before you show compassion. Okay, so, sir. So, so you don't get in the way of somebody who has brought something on himself and is trying to play innocent and victim before you. And then you are now sharing everything and everything with the person. Meanwhile, that individual brought it on herself and is acting like it's the victim. Show consecrated compassion. Okay? Lord. Yes, sir. Amen, sir. You Thank much. you very much, sir. God bless. I'm Thank sure you, sir. you can even in your head remember the scenario that fits that. God is just giving you heads up, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. God Thank you. Me. Yeah. But the word for Makia actually means, means concocting things together to produce a serious difference or change. Okay? It's a Greek word. Okay? So where is this person? Olu Shegun, Olu Shegun, can you please put your hand on your head? I think after that, everybody, you can put your microphone up. Okay? You can put your microphone up after this so that uh, we can uh, greet and talk to each other close. Uh, Lord, I pray for this uh, man, Olu Shegun, that you will bless him. Keep him and give him a name. This is Amen. Amen. Let your joy produce in him. Amen. Amen. He will give you a song in the night. Amen. 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 Those who have food and have light. If you don't have light in your place, don't bother. Okay? Just put on your mic. Okay? Hello. 